All right, what's up guys? Welcome back here to West Seattle Bowl. It's review land time. Today, it is a cold, cold morning in West Seattle and the lanes are fresh. And we've got today the DV8 Violent Collision. We're gonna throw it up against the DV8 Brutal Collision, which should be interesting to see. The Violent Collision has the same core, the collision core as the Brutal Collision. And we're also gonna see the Havoc Pearl cover on this new ball with the HK22 base. So before we get started on that, have you subscribed? If you haven't, do so now. All right, let's get to it. As always, before we get started, Vice IT, for all of your thumb hole needs, when you're switching bowling balls, have an IT. It's like having a Coke and a smile. You just can't beat it. All right, violent collision. The RG on this ball is 246, so it should pick up pretty soon. But it is a pearl, so we'll see what happens. First shot out the gate. Oh, wow. It was a little right. NBC. We'll see what happens. Every ball's got that NBC in it. NBC will make you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see if we can throw this one just a pinch cleaner off our hand. It's so cold here this morning. Uh, let's see. A little bit better. Stuff 4.9, trip the four. So what we can see from this ball is it's aggressive. It's got a lot of motion down lane. The brutal collision for me was more smooth. This one seems to have a lot more motion. So when we do the transition, we'll see how that plays out. But all the shots so far in the pocket, that's a good thing. Wow, yeah, that is very, very motion happy down there. May need to move in just a pinch. This ball for me, being a shiny ball, very much reminds me of a Hammer Flawless. Shout out back in the day, hashtag Hammer Flawless. Just got that pretty, pretty look to it. But don't let her fool you. It's pretty aggressive so far. <laughs> All right, so let's move a couple off that one that just went high and let's see how she rolls. Okay, so we moved in a couple boards on that and definitely got it right. And there's definitely a lot of motion down lane out of this ball. So what we can see is that it is aggressive. And normally out of shiny asymmetrics or even, even some symmetrics, the shinier the cover, you gotta kinda get the ball to roll more. As aggressive as this ball is, I don't feel like I need to slow down. So those of you that have higher ball speeds, or less hand and you need help to make the ball hook, usually with pearl balls, you have to fight those uh, things on the lane. With this ball, being aggressive as it is, I don't think you really have to do that. I can definitely keep my speed up, which for me is a very big bonus. I don't have to worry about keeping the speed slow to get the ball to read. So we'll see how that plays out too. inside and it continues so again no loss of continuation no loss of aggressiveness even though that one was a little bit inside from the first one after we moved in also with this cover what I am noticing as I seem to think it's just gonna be a, a thing now with HK with this new batch of balls that we have coming cover isn't slimy so Again, another shiny ball that isn't slimy, that has looking like it's keeping, it's maintaining its uh, reaction and its cover. There we go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. How about that? Ball looks like it's going 
a little bit forward off the lane at the end of the pattern, but still it's maintaining angle. Uh, it's not duck hooking, so to speak. And if we move in just a little bit more, we'll see how that plays out. Let's move in a couple more and see if that actually holds out. I'm not gonna slow it down too much. Yeah, so inside, pop the four pin there. I'm gonna do that one more time. Maybe see if we can push it to the right. See how much more we can get. Again though, it definitely did not stop. It held, it held, it was continuous. There we go. Wow, okay, yeah. Ball definitely had some angularity to it, but it didn't go this way, it went more that way. So what we'll do here, we'll see how it's big brother wanted to roll. All right, so we'll go to the brutal here. This was the earlier ball for me. Go back just a couple right. We'll see how much smoother it can be. Yeah, again, pretty smooth. Not a big violent reaction. More of a end over end, uh, keep it in front of you kind of look. Having said that, this ball was pretty aggressive for me. And I think we'll move right just a little bit, see how much more we can move around with it. Yeah, there we go. So, really smooth. Definitely not the motion we see down lane out of the violent collision. For some reason, that cover has just a little bit of oil on it. Not a lot, mind you, but you can still see it, feel it. Just a pinch with a violent collision. Beautiful. We'll back a couple more and we'll try to go just a pinch straighter. Yeah. Collision core, you gotta love it. It rolls so good, but it's so cold here this morning. My hands are like ice. That's what we do though. We don't rest. We wake up, we strike. All right, so we definitely saw how much smoother, how much earlier, and how much straighter we could get with the brutal collision. Going back to the same spot with the violent. Oh, way farther right. My goodness. This is football. That have been holding. <laughs> God. Okay, so what are we seeing out of this ball that we haven't already talked about that we're not seeing out of the other ball? Just more continuation, more motion down lane. But man, that low RG is also keeping those pins low on the deck. We're not seeing a lot of flyby pins where they're jumping up and over the pins on impact. Oh, we're home. We are home. Let's go. You guys ever had a shot during league where you let it go and it just felt right? Do me a favor, reply down below. I'd like to read your responses. Have you ever had one of those nights where you felt you could do no wrong, but it did or it didn't work out for you? I'd like to read your responses, put it down below. Because for me, I definitely feel like this ball is very forgiving. And that is what every bowler needs. Even that one. Yeah, so, a lot of times when you get to those asymmetric balls, even shiny bowling balls like that in the asymmetric line, when you get them in or you grab at them a little bit, they want to check up real fast or they don't want to check up enough, kind of giving you this weird look. That to me is what every bowler should be searching for. A ball that's forgiving, a ball that wants to help you when you don't throw it good 
and a ball that makes that look fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag shout out to Lynn. So if I was gonna compare this motion down lane, I would definitely compare it to maybe a Black Widow 2.0 hybrid, but I feel like the Black Widow 2.0 hybrid would be a little sooner down lane and the Violent Collision would go a little longer down lane, but they both have roughly the same motion down lane. So they're very close, but you can definitely see some little differences. And again, we can still be aggressive with our release, aggressive with our speed, and it doesn't feel like we're giving anything away. That one's inside now, and she gets there. So again, you don't throw a ball good, you want a ball that makes you feel like you throw a ball good. Because up there, they all look the same. Woo, blower 10, wiggle you dog, you dirty dog. All right, so for me, layout wise, I kept them identical. The brutal collision and the violent collision. Um, number wise, it's about four and a half, pin to pap. And basically what that is, is pin above ring finger kicked out and then down to five o'clock for my CG. So everything's just kind of swung. But what I'm seeing is they complement each other very well, obviously. It's the same core, different cover. But they both seem like they would fit in the bag. For me, I would probably keep a fresh cover on my Brutal Collision. I would probably keep my Violent Collision as it is because it's really continuous and really forgiving. And, I like that. I keep it as is. I could roll into league with these two balls and a spare ball, and I think I'd be okay. Maybe we get something lower on the lower spectrum, but if you're going for a three game league, like I don't think you'd need something crazy. They definitely would fit in the bag. I would lean towards bowlers that have higher ball speeds, I think would like it, and bowlers that don't have a lot of hand just because of how aggressive it is down lane. I think it would play very well. Uh, having said that, I like to play inside a little bit and it's very continual and very forgiving. So I would probably put it in the versatile category where anybody could throw this ball. I don't think it lends itself hard one way or the other, but I would definitely not recommend it for somebody that straps on the ball on a fresh out shot. It might be a little too much wet dry. Oh, we're home. Wow, that ball is fantastic. It might throw it in league this week just to see it. For those of you who watch all of our videos, which we appreciate very much, um, the hazmat video, I said I would throw it in league and see how it went right away. 700, 700. Both houses that I bowl at are quite different. West Seattle has a lot of oil. Another house in Frederick Way that I bowl at has uh, a little less oil, but still very hooky on the surface. Uh, I was able to throw that hazmat in both houses. So we're gonna try this one the same way and we'll see what happens. We'll let you know. So we'll throw one more shot with this and then we'll let you guys go. We wanna appreciate everything you guys have done so far. Keep subscribing, keep watching because we enjoy making these. Even on cold mornings like this, Inside, NBC. All right, guys, have a good one. Appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one.